Alright, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Oh my, get clamped. Oh my goodness, my boy's over here playing one-on-one. -on -one. Like, nice little friendly competition, you feel me? And, oh my, and, oh my, and, oh my goodness, oh my god. What's good, bruh? I'm uh, coming at you guys with another video. Uh, recently, a subscriber has asked me to drop a video giving some tips on how to be the best point guard you can be. So, first of all, I would like to say, to be a point guard, you cannot have a narrow vision or shooting guard because all guards should be able to pass the same, in my opinion. You can't have a narrow vision. You have to have a wide vision you need to see the whole court so first of all you have to have your camera on 2k or on turbo i would say 2k is probably the best though but um don't look to get a highlight reel every single time you get the ball not don't look to get a highlight reel at all like everyone tries to be when they get a point guard they try to be steph curry or somebody flashy like to be a good point guard Look at Chris Paul. He's not trying to be flashy. He crosses people up from time to time. But he's not doing it so that he could look good on camera. He's doing it to get past his man. Hey, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Or he's trying to create some sort of space. He's not doing it to try to embarrass the man that's guarding him or anything like that. He's just doing it to be a good point guard. So you have to have a go-to move, of course. Um... Normally what I would like to do is give my man a little size up move and then um, give him a little hezzy and go from one side to the next. Or um, just do a little between the leg move and try to speed by him. And uh, hesitations work great in 2K as it makes the defender freeze for a sec and try to guess where you're going. Uh, speaking of guesses, you guys need to be able to predict the future <laughs> if you're going to be a good guard. What I mean by that is, all right. Say you get the ball and um, everybody's set up and you notice that you could drive right here. You could drive, and but a center might come over and block your shot. When you drive that second, in, a, in this scenario, no one is guarding you, by the way. Well, you're being guarded, but he's not guarding you to the point where you have a wide open three. He's giving you leeway to go inside and uh, get a layup or a dunk. So when you drive, you need to think about this. Will the center come over to me? And if he does, who's going to be open? Or will somebody from the wing, see they might be in the zone, a point guard or somebody might step over in front of you. I said point guard, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, anybody. Anybody can step over in front of you. Uh, predict where, who's going to be open. So if the center steps over, maybe go up for the layup or the dunk and initially but pass out to the wide open man i mean that's just the way to be a good guard uh every i see a lot of times everybody uses a guard and they'll be really small and just attacking the paint relentlessly like they're russell westbrook or something like that that's not the way to be a good guard in 2k all right uh not even if you're an inside guard because like inside scoring is not easy not even for big men, because I know I'm a seven foot one big man, and I get blocked by people that are six foot ten, even shorter than that. So it's it's not it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. They're like, oh, I got by my man, I'm gonna go dunk showtime. No, it's not like that. Uh, so try to predict what's going to happen if I make this move, or say say you're rotating the ball, and um they rotate it to you. Try to predict if your teammate is going, like, say you see a teammate out the corner of your eye backdoor cutting. Instead of you trying to cross your man up or go do something fancy with the ball, pass it right away. It's called a touch pass. As soon as you touch it, it's going to the next person. Understand what I'm saying? And, um, always be looking up. If you, um, off an inbound, look up to see if the defense is not back. On a fast break, look up to see if the defense is not back and pass the ball. A lot of people just don't have that they just don't want to pass the ball or they're too hesitant all right 
in this game you're gonna get a lot of turnovers regardless I mean eventually you're gonna get a lot of turnovers in one game uh, I know with my point guard slash shooting guard I I've had games where I've gotten a lot of turnovers and not that many assists but one thing the reason why I didn't get that many assists is just because we either weren't making shots or my pass would lead to a better pass and that's another thing that I wanted to point out uh, not every pass that you're gonna make is gonna be an assist sometimes you need to pass the ball to open up another um, opportunity for your teammates you understand what I'm saying so if you're going to be a good point guard you can't just think about yourself or the person that you're passing the ball to you need to think about your team think about your team uh, say if I make this pass who could potentially get open if I make this pass could I set a pick and then slide out to the three-point line or cut or say if I pass it to the man in the post could I do a backdoor cut around him and then I'll be right there wide open for the layup you understand what I'm saying? sometimes if you pass it to the man in the post you either want to go out fade out to the corner stay where you are or cut it's going to all depend on the situation uh, normally, if you pass it to him in the high post, you want to cut uh, through the back door. You guys know what that is, right? It's behind the center. That's why they call it the back door, uh, towards the baseline. Uh, well, uh, or you could go to the corner. You could create some space for him to work towards the inside instead of going to the baseline. Um, you have to be able to play good defense if you're going to be a guard, first of all. Because I know using my center, it's very, very frustrating when I see a guard messing up continuously just because their man turbos right by him or hits him with one move every single time. All right, learn from your mistakes. If you see your man hit a move once or twice, think to yourself, oh, he's most likely going to go this way. I normally, what, what I do, I um when someone's coming towards me I try to fake like I'm going to over commit to one side and then I move back to the other side and normally what people do when they realize that somebody's over committing they cross over to the other side and when they cross over I steal the ball because they dribble right into me you understand what I'm saying either I steal the ball or I clamp them right there and once you get that really tight um defensive pressure on them if you have a high defensive rating you can just keep pressing on them and make it hard for them to get by you and force them to pass. Um, oh, something else. Always assume that your man can shoot. If you're a guard, assume that your man can shoot. Come on now. Um, with my guard, I can shoot, so I don't see why anyone else could not shoot, especially if they're short. Every short person can shoot in this game. Okay? Okay. <laughs> but um, the pick and roll defense in this game it really all depends if your man has a fast shot I would say go over the pick or uh, tell your big man to switch if he has a slow shot go under the pick and don't tell your big man to switch unless it's a very good pick that's being set then you will tell your big man to switch off it and help you out on that um, be able to read the passing lanes uh, like I said by on offense, you need to be able to predict what's going to happen after this happens. Uh, you have to have the same mindset when you're on defense. All right. Because they're, they're trying to do the same thing. Good point guards on our team, just, they're trying to do the same thing. So, say the ball is in the corner and the dude gets double teamed. And the only person that can help out, help that dude out and potentially get the pass is your man. What you're going to want to do is prevent that pass lane from going through. Normally what you'll do is just get right in between him and the passing lane or fake like you're going to get right in between him and the passing lane. Uh, if you try to fake it and he passes it, go for that steal. Uh, if you get in between it and he still tries to pass it, go for that steal. But most of the time when you're right there and he has he can't pass it to the person that um you're guarding, it, the person with the ball is going to get uh, eventually to an animation where they have to do a jump ball and then it's a good defensive possession. Um, something if your man cuts on you after you press up on him and prevent that passing lane you have to depend on your center like right? it's it's a risk but normally a good big man would normally step over towards the ball in that situation like if it if the ball is in the corner and he's trapped he can't go anywhere and he sees that you're 
uh, in the passing lane, he would step over uh, in the lane so that if he, they did try to pass it to a dude in the lane, he would either, the big man would either steal the ball or he would get a block. But um, yeah, you just need to have good chemistry with your teammates to for defensive purposes and offensive purposes. For to be a good guard, you have to have chemistry. Like for on defense, you need to know okay if my teammate is going to do this, I need to do this. All right, I messed up on that. Let me go over here. My teammate knows that I messed up on that, so he's going to go right here. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So yeah, have your go-to move, think smart, don't try to be the superstar, rack up those assists, man. Don't try to pass the ball to try force an assist either. Don't do that. Make the good pass, okay? I mean, it's good to risk some passes, like, if you're on a fast break, chuck that thing, man. There's, if you have somebody that's taller than the defender, throw the lob. I mean, some the lob is a better pass sometimes than just a regular pass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the bounce pass is a better pass. Well, sometimes a flashy pass is even the better pass because you might fake out the defense. But the only bad thing about that, you can't choose which flashy pass you're going to do. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's... I think that about sums it up, right? I think so. If you have uh, any other suggestions on how to be a good guard in 2K, uh, don't be afraid to shoot as well. While, while playing smart, you have to not be afraid to shoot, but just don't shoot in anyone's face either. Uh, if you guys have any... Thing that you guys want to suggest uh, anything that I left out feel free to leave it in the comment section um, if you guys want me to drop any more tip uh, videos about any other positions go ahead and leave that in the comment section let me know and shout out to hold on let, let me find the guy's name really quick I need to find my phone here it is found it uh, shout out to natural wilds for uh, suggesting that I drop this video for you guys. But yeah, this is D-Brooks, bruh. I'm out.